confidence as a woman in business is uh, a funny thing, uh, fleeting at times and necessary always. Uh, for myself, I am I'm a business owner and uh, you could call me an entrepreneur. I own my own business as a wardrobe stylist. Uh, but I can tell you that the, the road getting here was not easy uh, neither internally nor externally. Uh, like many people, uh, my, I left a, a very clear-cut career uh, in New York City to uh, follow my, my significant other, in this case my husband's career, to another city, which meant changing gears for mine. And uh, going out on my own, uh, starting my own business, uh, was really um, a hot mess at the beginning because there was no, I didn't know anybody that, that had blazed this path, that had done this. I could ask advice of people who had other kinds of businesses who worked for themselves in other arenas, but I didn't know anybody that, that personally that I felt comfortable asking questions of that, that did what I, what I wanted to do. And in fact, in the beginning, I actually didn't start out as a wardrobe stylist, even though that was the only thing I've ever wanted to do in my whole life um, because I didn't believe in myself. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just, I'll be a personal organizer and I, I can do this and I can do that and I can do the other thing. And I, I remember I had made this, uh, this brochure of, uh, of all of my services and it was like this laundry list of things that I can do for you. Just in my head, it was like, okay, what, what, how can I get people to want to hire me? And uh, I went to a networking group uh, at the time and they, it was interesting, they all latched on to, to just the personal organizing. And I thought, that's not really what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Didn't you see number five on the list? Number five on the list was personal stylist. That's really what I want to do. And, uh, and definitely through trial and error, and a lot of encouragement and pushing from people around me who believed in me immensely and, and definitely more than I believed in myself, I finally threw out the brochure and made a new one and the only focus was personal styling. Even though that was, you know, my background, my, my field of study, uh, everything I'd done or, or had anything to do with since I was a child, it was absolutely frightening. Uh, but once I, re I realized that once I got in front of a client, it was like, I was like in auto mode, you know, I just knew what to do and it was great and I was working and I loved it and, and, and I was full of useful information. I was getting great, great, um, you know, response from clients and feedback and I'd leave a client and I'd come home and my husband would say, how did it go today? I'd be like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I could have done better. I don't know. And this constant second guessing and I don't know, should I do this kind of marketing? Should I do that kind of marketing? Um, and, and all of the, all of the options and decisions that have to be made, uh, every time I allow self doubt to creep into my mind, the one thing I know for sure is things go terribly wrong. So I have learned over the years, through trial and error, that I must believe in myself as much as the people who know me around me do. And the times when I don't, I just shut off that horrible voice in my head. I tell her to shut up because I'm going to do what I want to do and I'm going to succeed. And that gets me over the hump until I do.